What's good, Jari Nerds? It's your boy, Dragonfire, and I'm back with another YouTube video. So today, this YouTube video will be about helping you build your mechanics in Fortnite Battle Royale. So if you don't know what mechanics are, they're basically the basics of Fortnite. Your builds, your aim, um, and your edits. So I have these maps that'll help you improve a lot. And all the map codes will be in, a, in the description. Yeah. First one is going to be Raiders Aim Duel. You should be doing this every day uh, once you get on just to train your aim. And you can do this with a friend if you have because it doesn't matter if the friend is good, bad, as long as you, you know you have live practice for aiming. So you can do this every day once you get on. Um, just to, you know, practice your aim. And if you don't have any friends, as you can see right here, you can come over here and do matchmaking. I can get in with a random person. So, some of the maps that I recommend is like the on ramp, um, the one by two with ramp number two, and this one also. Like some of those maps are good, and then you do this one with cones. Did this man really put switch? Like you do one by two with cones. You stay from here. It'll help you with your shotgun aim. I just got on, so my aim might be bad. Don't judge me. Okay. And the whole goal is to try to move so you don't get hit. And practice your bobbing and your weaving with this. So try to not get hit as best as possible. As you can see there. Okay, you just got your blue AR, your blue pump, you can match to 200 HP. Um, I'm in 2000, you run through 2000. And you do the on ramp. Doing the on ramp is like, it's like a close up situation, so it helps. Did this idiot not pick up? What the hell? You do on ramp. And learn to switch when you're in here. Learn to switch through your guns. And try to aim for the head as much as possible. Oh, I needed to reload. There you go. Aim for the head as best as possible when you're in there. Because it will help you like if you're in a close-up box fight situation or anything like that. It helps a ton. The next one recommended is just like on ramp, but when you're below ramp. You know, if you both get caught into a weird situation where you get stuck underneath the ramp with each other, you will be able to aim your way out of it. Other Okay. Now for the other ones. Cause this idiot didn't pick up a gun again for the other ones you should just get an ar for this one and you can do a glider aim you have here your friend comes here you do glider aim and uh yeah you test out your glider aim and it, it basically helps you if you're tracking someone long range if they're gliding Okay, now on to the next map. It is the Pandavos 1v, um, not necessarily 1v1, but headshot only box fight map. This helps a lot because it helps with your shotgun aim. It also helps with peace control. Um, and you can do matchmaking with this. You don't even need to have friends. You know, you can just go to Pandavos hub right here, the creative hub, and just do creative matchmaking. So you press start, and the only way for you to kill someone is if you hit a 200 pump. Cause they, if not, they just get back their HP, and it helps you a lot. Cause it helps you have to learn peace control. You know, you have to do your peace control um, to not get trapped on. I just got on, so my aim is gonna be terrible. Don't worry about it. But yeah, you gotta um. 
It helps you practice peace control. You know, you're doing your free builds, boxing people. And it'll, it'll build a mentality for you to always aim for the head. For you to always aim for the head, you know? It's like, it, uh, it helps a lot. Wow, 81 headshot, that's, that's cool. But yes, it does help, especially when you're in those situations like close up. Because you know those happen in arena all the time. It helps you um, get better with, yeah, it helps you get better with hitting those 200 pumps. You know what I'm saying. So, just keep doing this like every day after you do the Raiders aim duel. You will see a lot of improvements, trust. Like after a few, you will see a bunch of improvements. And if you're not very good at free building, this map will help you a lot too. It does help, yeah, like a ton. Okay, now let's move on. And that's for your aim. So we're, we're moving on to the second mechanic for the video, which is building so there's this map as you can see on the screen crank simulator all you need to do is just load up into this map and free build but you won't just be doing pointless free building you'll be trying to learn retakes um trying to get timing down with your edits just stuff like that you know casual stuff like that um because crank simulator does help because after you get to max height or if you fall down over the side right here as you can see, it'll spawn you back on this ramp and break the bills back there. So it's basically like your infinite cranking. So if you reach max height, that happens. If you reach max height or if you fall over, you fall off over the edge, it just resets you. So you should try to be learning some retakes, you know, cover yourself if you're um, bill fighting, stuff like that. Try to work on your double edits. Your triple edits, just all, all, all that can help you, cause this it will also help with your mechanics, like um, the editing part of your mechanics. If you get the timing down in your free builds, so yes, that helps a lot. If you can get the timing down properly. Okay, so moving on. So after you've done your free builds um, and your aim warm up, you will use this map where there's peace control edit course. So it has a few drills in it. I won't be going through them all. You can go through them, you know, explore your yourself. But if you do this every day, um, you will see improvements. So you just load up into the map. You don't need anyone. Just load up, um, select two guns, shotgun and AR if you want. Jump on this, so, and then you basically just try to peace control this on PC. But hug the wall so that you don't get, like, you know, you don't get shot if it was, like, a real scenario. Yeah, try to, try to go for good peaks so that you don't get shot. Because if the AI can shoot you, that means anyone else can shoot you, if you know what I'm saying. Like right there, that was a bad peek on my half. Because you see I got shot. So hug the wall and shoot. So you can do this, it helps peace control someone that way. It's, it's a pretty good. It's pretty good to use, it's a pretty good trick, you know what I'm saying. So yes, you can use this peace control map, um, I mean peace control edit course map, to practice your edits.
1v1s run 1v1s on a daily because 1v1s helps with your fighting a ton so when you run 1v1s on a daily it really helps trust me you just do them on a daily um 1v1 like you can you can easily find someone on 1v1 you can load up in a creative matchmaking or you can just get a friend to 1v1 don't let them be way too worse than you or way better because if they're way better it doesn't help it doesn't help you improve that much because you'll just get mad that you're dying and if they're way worse you won't improve because you won't have any competition so if you feel like you're on a good level where the people in creative matchmaking don't oppose like a challenge to you you can just load up into discords what am i doing yeah you can load up into like a, a 1v1 discord you know the scrim discords yeah you can load up into um scrim discords because those they help a ton because they have so much good players in there you can easily find someone good better than you to 1v1 if no one in creative matchmaking stands like does does anything you know is any competition you can easily find someone in the discord to 1v1 yeah so you can easily find someone in a creative in a um, scrim discord and a lot of the ten times like nine times out of ten they were like pretty good at the game and so like because most of those people you know they play scrims they do all of that so and then after that after you finish doing the, the completing your warm-up routine you're gonna want to run arena yes run arena it helps it helps you learn how to fight in game instead of just like having your creative skills it's gonna help you transfer those skills into a real match so run arena on a daily after warming up yes it helps a ton but yeah that's that's about it for the video guys um hope you did enjoy if you did enjoy um, let me know in the comments if this did help you also maybe drop a like subscribe um and yeah you know the saying he's that boy he's after again he's all gamer he's your boy Dark Pie, and peace out